Hi everyone, welcome to Ice Hockey again. So last night only I got over with this super book Doglaban, and I thought of sharing its review with you guys. Uh, it's an extraordinary book. If you want to be an entrepreneur in India, you have to read this book. The problem is that it's not only about not having talent sometimes, but you have to know the world also, and that is what this book focuses on. You know, paramountly. I have been through this journey. I have been through uh, such a case, and I had a big, um, you know, tussle with one of the companies in India, and I was the only guy over there, as has been Ashneer in his journey. I'm not comparing myself with him. I'm just, uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm a rat in front of him, but still, uh, you know, there are many universes, and uh, we can always have these comparisons. So the book tells you as to how you are, you know, put down by your maybe investors or your partners. Like if you are only involved, uh, in your work, this was my case also. I was someone who was only into his work. I did not know these worldly shenanigans like, uh, you know, conspiring against someone or maybe my investors were also. I I had opened an IELTS institute once, uh, with someone. I can't name them. So how the investors, you know, look down upon you, how uh, your partner can be an asshole. Um, he may not do anything, but at the end, he might uh, stab you in the back. And also, I had hired someone out of uh, these relationships only. I gave a chance to a known person, despite the fact the person was not very talented. But in the end, that person got involved with the. Uh, the investors and uh, the chaos was given rise to that happens with this person also ashneer grover also he you know after having done a lot for his company had to resign because of the you know malpractices involved so you'll get to know a lot of uh, business terms also which was a little uh, difficult also for me to you know look up the meanings side by side but it is worth it and uh, he has told about his love story also which is again very beautiful and it seems the person is very rational he uh, takes life you know in a very positive way along with being very uh, i would say pragmatic about it he he is never in any la la land he is involved in his work like billy oh he can uh work for i think 18 hours a day which is again like something to you know envy and uh, you'll get to see how his uh, humble beginnings led to his dreams and one thing i was very proud of this fact that he studied at career launcher whereas i have been a teacher at career launcher so of course like it was a very uh, sweet bond and uh, furthermore i think you will see how you know being successful is difficult because you cannot be really living in a hum saath saath hai world and dream to be someone who is uh, there on shark tank and is the king of that show you have to be very anurag kashyap type in order to be someone of this sort and uh, how he worked uh, with a goldsmith how he worked with the uh, you know i iit dropouts and other people and at the end how he uh, still loved his work but was not able to carry forward his le- legacy uh even the life tips given in this book are you know phenomenal phenomenal like uh, he has talked about his grandfather he has talked about his uh, uh, family members how they helped him so you might want to rely on rely on your family a lot in place of relying on other people when it comes to business uh, like otherwise what we think is that our professional life is different in this sphere we should have people outside of our, outside of our families but this person has told us that uh, only the members from your household are going to be with you and they are most affected when you are you know given this kind of treatment by other people uh one surprising thing was Ashneer Grover is not Ashneer Grover without Madhuri Grover his wife she has been the i would say real force behind his success and uh, i think i would be you know 
knowing about her a lot after this book. And uh, as you know, learning English is associated with reading books a lot. So you, if you don't read any books, you can start with this book only because it's very small. It has only 185 pages. And given the twists and turns, plus the, you know, lure of uh, reading about someone who has this much money, you are going to be, you know, invested in the book throughout. So I hope you will enjoy this book also as I did. And best of luck.